Welcome to the channel folks, I'm Josh from Bennett Fishing, your number one resource for lake trout on the YouTubes. So today, this question I've been getting a lot, you seem to be always on the spot when you start jigging for lake trout. And that's because I've never shared a video and actually how to find them. I've showed locations like humps and reefs and all that kind of stuff, but let's actually go over how I find lake trout on a new lake. And now I'm gonna show, I'm gonna kind of go over it real quick and then I'm gonna hop over to the, my trailer with my boat on it and show you what the actual sonar looks like because that matters. Some of your sonar manufacturers are gonna tell you to do one thing with your sonar. I'm gonna tell you to do something else. I'm not responsible for breaking it, but what we're trying to do is read the bottom of the lake on plane or as fast as we can possibly go. So what we're gonna focus on today, and especially if you have a 2D sonar like I do, and I also have live scope, which is a little fancy and very expensive. My sonar is right there and it's as far away from the center line of my boat as possible. Most people tell you to run it over here in this kind of area. What I'm telling you to do is mount it as far away from the motor as possible and mount it below the surface of the bottom of your boat. And the reason I do that is so I can read on plane and it's actually kicked up just a little bit. So when that boat is rising like this, this is actually flat to the bottom of the lake to give me a nice clear image. Now, most places will tell you to run this up above and that's just to protect the transducer in case you hit rocks and stuff like that. Most of the time I'm out in deep water digging so I have no issues with rocks. So that's how I have mine set up. Is we're gonna start on flats today. So I wanna start on flats that are 50 foot of water or less or even gentle slopes. The food chain kind of starts there. There's little bugs that are in the mud there. There's photo synthesis, there's light that penetrates down that far. So there's usually weeds, there's usually like a little bit of everything going on. There's bug catches that happen in those areas, which bring in bait fish. And in this particular lake, that bait fish is smelt. So what we're gonna be using today is one of my baits. We're gonna be using the new Treadhead, which is the quarter ounce and three eighths ounce with a little smelt pattern paddle tail on the back of that. So let me show you what my sonar looks like as we cruise up onto the flat right now because right now we're in about 70 feet of water and the flat's technically right in front of me and it's a point flat. So it's a, it's a double whammy as far as finding fish is concerned. So let's go. So right now we have 2D imaging and this is the Garmin with the GT54 transducer, which is not the most expensive down imaging one. Um, but this is what we're running. We're running a normal 2D sonar at 200 kilohertz. We're gonna fire up the engine here. It's a little bit bumpy. I tried to film this yesterday and it was extremely bumpy. And let's get up on plane here. And we're going about six, seven miles an hour, and we're gonna get up on plane here. So what we're looking for is not actual lake trout, we're looking for balls of bait. So we're looking for smelt. So right there is one. And right there is one. And then we want to stay on that plane. And what we, the other thing we want to do is we want to kind of head into the wind as much as possible. So when we stop and drop our spot lock, we don't have to fight with turning the boat around. And they might not be here, but this is one of the spots that I'll check. It's a nice flat. You might see an arc of a lake trout. But we're gonna patrol this area. And the name of the lake I'm on is, is on here. That's why I'm not showing you the map, but I'll, I'll white it out right here and I'll show you what I'm looking at. It's a kind of a gentle slope. So that's bait right there. And right there. So what we're gonna do, it's not swamp the boat. We're gonna flip this 180, point us our bow right into the wind. See that's bait right there suspended, which is good. We're gonna run up and we're gonna put on spot lock real quick. And uh, so I'm not actually seeing lake trout. It's hard to see lake trout on full plane like that or higher speed, but it is possible. The slower you go, the better of the image you're gonna have. So 
if you're patient, that's easy. We're gonna swing live scope over the side just because we can. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wait here for lake trout to come in. And we might be a little bit shallow, so we might have to move out a little bit deeper because the thermocline is going to change throughout the year and the wind will stir it up and kind of mix it up as well. But 25 feet or less, that thermocline would be like early spring or like early in the fall. I don't think we're there yet. Without seeing the thermocline on, on 2D imaging or even live scope, I won't know where it is unless I prop down a, uh, a thermometer, right? And that thermocline is cold, uh, cold water on bottom, warm water on top. Lake trout do not like the warm water. They will, I found out this a lot this year, they will swim up to warm water and eat and then go right back down. So what these fish are doing is we have a, we have a shoreline behind me. We have deep water, deep water down here, shallow flat, and then the shoreline is right there. So right now we're on that shallow flat. Fish will come up from the deep water eat the bait, cool off, and then go right back down. So I am seeing some fish out deeper. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move out deeper. And if you're not seeing any fish on your 2D sonar, it is okay to move away from the bait. So what we wanna do while jigging for these lake trout on the flats, we wanna find the bait with our 2D stop on its spot lock and then move off of it. We don't want to be right in the bay because what we want to do is shoreline's here, our boat's here, right on the bait. We want to move closer to that deep water so we actually intercept the fish before they come up and see that bait because they're going to pick live bait pretty much over artificials for the most part. Sometimes they'll be like, oh, that's different. I want to pick that one out. And that will happen and then you'll catch a lot of fish that way too. And there's a bunch of them. Those could be smallies, but we're gonna stop on them anyways out on 120. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I just had a chase, guys. Just had a chase. Not sure if it was a smallmouth or a, or a laker. So you won't, since we're using uh, 2D in such shallow water, you won't see these fish until they're right on top of you. So right now we're we're only in like 45 feet of water, 40 feet of water. And like I said, I like to try to stay under that 50 foot mark. And that's just because I, I tend to find smelt in that 50 foot mark or less. Every time I go over that, they just seem to like completely disappear. And I think it's because there's more food, there's more light, there's more everything for them to eat in that area. So now we're just waiting on this flat for literally fish to come in. They're here. They just need to get underneath the boat. Yes, you could probably, since it's a flat, you could cast hip bottom and kind of bounce it back to you. Um, but the reaction bite is, is a little bit slower. You can use something like a rattle trap or something like that that makes noise if you want to. Oh, he chased the heck out of it and didn't want it. Come on. Just missed our second chance at a lake trout this morning. So like I said, they seem to be coming from the deeper water. So let's intercept them. Let's go deeper than 40 feet. And depending on your bait, your flats might be a little bit deeper, like Cisco's or whitefish and stuff like that, or owlwives. Owlwives tend to be in a little bit deeper water from where I fish normally. Now we're going to do a technique called dead sticking. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold it a few feet off bottom and we're just going to wait for a fish to come up and see it and then run away. So what's happening is I'm jigging, pounding bottom, and then I pop up and a fish will come racing up to it. And I don't know if all my own rules sometimes I'm too late to the game and I can't even run away from them so it doesn't act like a real bait fish. We have a big wall of smelt behind me. Oh. Pretty sure that's a lake trout or a small lake. It's a lake trout.
Yes. There we go. First lake trout of the day. They've been extremely finicky today. But there's your first lake trout on the flats, guys. One of the easiest places to do it um, if you have the patience. Going right back in. So that's it, folks. A quick and easy way to find late summer, early fall lake trout. So what we're doing is we're getting on plane, we're making sure our sonar is adjusted properly, we're finding schools of bait, in this case they're smelt, in that 50 feet of water or less on flats. It's a really easy area to go, go find, they're really easy on the map. You don't have to worry about your 2D sonar kind of uh, missing the bottom if you're on a ledge because it's just a flat area. What they try to doing is they're literally just swimming around, pushing schools of bait around and eating them. They will slinky right to the bottom. I mean, like, belly's covered in mud. So what they're doing is they're cruising along the bottom as flat as possible, and they'll rock it up and get those fish. So what you want to do is kind of a, a sit and wait technique, sit in the middle of that flat or wherever you've seen fish, or on the edge of the flat as they come up from the deeper water, usually colder water to warmer water to eat those fish. So I hope you guys learned something, and hope you guys find lake trout a little bit faster, especially on a new lake. It can be a, a monotonous task. But if you want to see more how-to videos, either click here or here. I have an advanced series and a beginner series, and then I have a bunch of vlog videos too. You can just go to my channel and search Lake Trout, and there will be a ton of content. See you on the next video.